The Wave's linear phase multiband processor is a powerful tool regardless of whether you're using it for high precision fine tuning of audio on an individual track or for your master bus to polish and fine tune the entire mix. First, I'm going to play you a couple of demos. Then I'll go through and explain the controls one by one. In this first example, the mix is muddy. Let's clean it up, concentrating on the bass and the kick. I've been kind of lonely, girlfriend just to saw me Getting in a mood all by myself So I take a train to nowhere Thinking she may go there Looking just for me and no one else And much to my mind She's the kind of dreamer you got to believe her When she sends a wish into the night Wanna be the lover, pure enough to touch her In this second example, we have part of a movie soundtrack. We want to make the entire sound fill the speakers and the bass to be a lot more defined. Let's go to work. Okay, let's take a look around the plugin so you know what's what. These are the crossover frequencies. The four crossover frequencies are set directly under the graph by grabbing their graph marker or using the text button. These define the cutoff frequencies in which the wideband signal will be split into the five discrete bands. Using these, you can fine tune the exact frequency range that you want to work on really easily. Each band of this plugin has five adjustable dynamic settings threshold, gain, range, attack, and release. And each of them has a solo and bypass. These function nearly the same as most dynamic processors, but in this processor, they affect the dynamics of one of the five bands. The range might seem unfamiliar. In this case, it's replacing the well known ratio but it defines both the intensity of gain adjustment and the limit of gain adjustment. In the global section, you're going to find master controls, which are ganged controls for moving all per band controls at once. The dither control adds dithering back to the 24th bit, rather than just rounding, which is what will happen if the dither is off. The makeup control allows selection between manual mode and auto makeup. Adaptive gives you real-time modulation of threshold depths in any given band by the frequency band immediately below it. Release lets you select between Waves Arc, Auto Release Control, or a manually set release. Behavior gives you a choice between Opto and Electro. These modes affect the nature of your release. And knee lets you choose between soft or hard knee or any value in between. A lot of people compare the linear phase multiband processor to another very popular plugin by Waves, the C4. Let me clear up any confusion for you on the difference between these two. In the linear phase multiband processor, the crossovers are literally linear phase crossovers. And we've put those there because even though you can use this for many things, it's predominantly a mastering plugin, and we wanted it to be completely transparent in its processing, which it is. 
In the C4, crossovers are not phase compensated, so it does impart a sound, therefore giving the signal a certain character. A pleasing one, but because of that character, it's not transparent. The Waves Linear Phase Multiband really is a multi-tool. Yes, it's for mastering, but if you think hard, you'll find a lot of other uses for it. Have fun.